Hi to everyone and welcome to a new episode of the PS3 Collecting Guide where I give you some advice on rare slash valuable PS3 title and share with you my experience in getting them. Tomorrow is Halloween and for this special celebration I decided to choose 10 horror themed video games for you. I hope you'll enjoy it. The first one is Yakuza Dead Souls. Developed and published by SEGA in 2012, it's an action survival horror that takes place as a spin-off in the world of Yakuza series, uh, but with addiction of hordes of zombies. Uh, this is an, a PS3 exclusive that scores 64 points on Metacritic, um, and if you never played a Yakuza game, uh, the voice acting is in Japanese, uh, but there are uh, English subtitles. Uh, this is the International Peggy 18 version. The game is not expensive, um, you can easily find it under 10 euro. And if you haven't got yet in your collection, now it's a good moment to buy it. The next one is The Walking Dead Season 1. Um, developed and published by Telltale Games in 2012, it's an interactive adventure based on the comic book series of Robert Kirkman. Uh, the first season consists in five episodes and the game uh, has been unanimously acclaimed from the critic, review, uh, re receiving uh, 94 points on Metacritic. Uh, this is the German version. Uh, that still costs more than the 15 euros. Uh, I bought the game uh, from a private person um, for only six, so it was a really uh, a bargain for me. The next one is Fear. Um, developed by Monolith and published by Sierra Entertainment in 2007 on PS3. It's a survival horror first-person shooter. The game received overall positive reviews, scoring 72 on Metacritic. Uh, now, if you uh, live in UK on the US, then it's really cheap. But on Amazon.de is still over 10 euros. Uh, and that's why I bought the UK version. Uh, unfortunately, the manual um, it's a little bit sticky if you if you see it and uh, also here um, so it's not in great conditions but for five pounds uh, yeah it, it was worth it the next one is Siren Blood Curse um, developed by Project Siren and published by Sony in 2008 it's a stealth survival horror and this is another PS3 exclusive that scored uh, 78 on Metacritic. Uh, this game is kind of rare, especially in US, since the retail version was not released in North America. And on Amazon.com you will only find the Japanese version for $25. And on eBay the UK version starts up to um, $20. So if you find this game under $20, it's a good deal. Of course, I'm talking about complete version. Moving to the next one, Silent Hill Homecoming. Um, developed by Double Helix Games and published by Konami in 2008 in uh, North America and in 2009 in Europe and Australia, uh, while the Japanese version was cancelled. Uh, it's a survival horror, the sixth installment in the Silent Hill franchise, and scores 71 on Metacritic. This is the German version, and a complete copy of the game cost 10 euros. The next one is So, the video game. Um, developed by Zombie Studios and published in 2009 by Konami. It's a survival horror based on the movie series and sets between the first and the second movie. The, the game received mixture, uh, mixed reviews scoring uh, uh, 59 points on Metacritic and on Amazon.de the pre-owned version costs around 10 euros and while the sealed cost uh, 45 euro. On Amazon.com the complete North American version cost uh, 15, euro, uh, 15 dollars. The 
This one is So 2 Flesh and Blood, developed by Zombie Studios and published in 2010 by Konami. Um, it's a survival horror, the direct sequel of So, the video game, um, received bad reviews, scoring only uh, 45 points of Metacritic. And this is the Peggy 18 Austrian version that cost me uh, around 10 euro, I don't remember exactly, while the US version still uh, costs over uh, $20. And in my opinion, this game could be rare in the future, could become rare in the future. I don't think they will make another so video game based on the movie. The next one is Painkiller Hell and Damnation, developed by The Farm 21 and published in 2013 by Nordic Games. It's a first-person shooter and um, the PS3 version received poor reviews scoring a total of 40 points of Metacritic. Um, the price range of this game really depends where you live. Starting in UK under 10 pounds, then in Germany around 15 euro and finishing in US with uh, 25 dollars. This is the German version. Moving to the next one, Overkill The House of the Dead, uh, developed by Handstrong Games and published in 2011 by Sega. It's a first person a rail shooter gun that scored uh, 75 points of Metacritic. Uh, it is compatible with a PlayStation Move. You can uh, basically aim at enemies uh, pointing it on the screen. Um, the game was censored in Germany due to Sega refusing to get a rating by USK, the German rating authority. Uh, again, the price, the price of this game really depends where you live. Uh, this is the BBFC UK version and cost only five pounds. Uh, and in North America, uh, the North American version costs between 15 and 20 dollars. And inside also came with this 3D glasses. I never tried it so I have no idea if it works. This is the extended cut. And the next one is Resident Evil Revelations, developed and published by Capcom in 2012. It's a third person survival horror that takes place uh, between the main chapters of the franchise Resident Evil 4 and 5. Uh, it received actually positive reviews from the critic. The game has a, a good mixture between the old school survival horror mechanics and tries uh, the at the same time to innovate some other aspects uh, of the gameplay. Uh, this is the International Peggy 16. It's not rare or expensive, but if for, inst uh, for instance you can buy it online for uh, $10. But if you compare it, uh, the, the prices of Resident Evil 5 or 6, two games that came after uh, for the PS3, then this one is still pricey. There is actually no manual, just, you know, just the, the controls. So this was, uh, was the last one for today. If you like the video, clicking the like button is not a bad idea. And if you want to see more of these episodes, subscribing is the best way to stay tuned on the channel. Uh, watch also my previous video if you missed them. As always, feel free to write a comment and see you in the next episode.